Hey guys, still here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Today, we are not doing a scenario, but we're going to be playing around with the CSS Virginia again, as I'm defeating a Monitor-class warship. Um, this is a very different type of fighting than you are normally used to from Ultimate Admiral, but that is exactly why it's interesting. Because it's so different. So, let's see what I can build. Uh, I can go for speed, which is going to increase my turning rate, and I think that that's going to be quite important. I can increase resistance, hull form, stability, hull weight, ship construction time, not that anybody cares, uh, armor weight, and alternatively just 14% more shell pen. I'm going to go for speed. Well, um, let's say maneuverability potentially, but speed? <laughs> I think that in this day and age, that is a bit of an overstatement. Um, as you, If you were to build these things for speed, they would do 10.5 knots. With an engine efficiency of 36... Oh, actually, it's not terrible. 35.6%. Now, I want to know how low I can get my turning circle. It's currently 215. Uh, if I make this ship just go at 8 knots, I can do 164. And now I can do... <laughs> I can do 102. Uh, I can do 102 meters. Beautiful. What is this in uh, normal metrics? Like the ship? 75 meters. That's really impressive. The ship is 75 meters long, yet she can turn around in 102. That's a very small margin. Now, what can I do to make the ship more survivable? Uh, maximum bulkheads. Steam engine. Um, this is going to make the ship marginally lighter but also a bit more expensive but I still have a million left so that should be fine let's put oil on her and well I guess natural boilers shells heavy shells more damage penetrate thicker armor and then uh, <laughs> black powder period you don't have any other options complement standard wow enhanced gun reload already that's pretty early I can have 22.9 centimeter guns or 25.4. And these guys can fit on the bow and the stern. If I'm not mistaken, then that is an 8 inch gun. Ten inch gun, actually. Ten inch gun. They reload in 51.3 seconds. Yet I can update that to a blistering 46.3. Impressive. Now I can also make the ship quite a bit longer, but that's going to once again reduce my turning or increase my turning circle. So let's make the ship as tiny as possible. And turning circle is now 73 meters at a ship length of probably somewhat similar. 65 meters. So I can turn on a dime with these things. Torpedo tubes, not invented here. And guns, well. I'm going to have massive gaps in my firing arcs. And the ship is drastically overweight. So I'll have to make some changes here. Uh, 127mm guns. And then I will need at least one main gun. This is 94 tons, this is 122. Reload 46, reload 35. Another one on the stern. This means that all the guns are manned. Maneuverability and engine efficiency is now 100%. Perfect. I will be building two ironclads. I still have 25 tons left. Um, since it's all belt armor that we're using, let's go for 200 millimeters of belt. Four weight offset is 11%. It's not great, but we'll just have to make it do. Um, it's going to cause me less acceleration. Well, I'm accelerating to 5 knots, so I don't think I'm going to be losing that much. I'm going to be having a bit more rudder shift issues, and accuracy is down by a little bit. Let's go. Two ironclads versus one ironclad from the United States. We got Virgen and Santiago. And the enemy is at 1.3 kilometer range. Look at these little turtle ships. 
They even have lifeboats. Which I think is optimistic. As I'm not sure how well those lifeboats are going to be protected by the time that they will be needed. You could argue that by the time that the lifeboat is needed, there won't be a lifeboat left. Alright, let's see if I can indeed run circles around the St. Louis. This is a monitor ship, so it has a turret, 305mm guns, and she knows how to use them. That is 44% accuracy. My chance to pen is 14%. Their chance to pen is 23%. So I'd say we're going to go full high explosive. Because anything else probably won't hit. Or rather, won't do damage. But fires might cause a problem. As these ships have minimum bulkheads. Whereas my turtles have maximum bulkheads. Um, this, however, is not helpful. I just got hit. And I am flooding. I'm on fire on two compartments. These ships were added as an April Fool's joke. But I really enjoy using them. Firing arc. I think the starboard bow-oriented gun should be opening up relatively soon. Right about now. Nope. There we go. What are you even trying to hit? This is going to take a while, isn't it? We have an hour 40 to do this. How much armor do you have? 154mm belt armor. Basic steam engine, coal, natural boilers, increased ammo shells, black powder. Yeah, okay. Enhanced reloading. 79% chance to hit with that thing? That's a bit much. I'm going to burn her down again. I'm just cracking the armor with the high explosive. I think I'd need to get to about 100 meter range if I actually want to have any kind of a chance to just flat out penetrate that ship. But maybe I can burn it down before that happens. I can just keep setting fires on her. And she's going to just lose structural integrity over time. That's another hit, but no fire. She does have almost nine compartments burning. Just put a few out. There's a few more. There's another fire. Oh, look at her go. St. Louis is burning up. The deck is ablaze. Look at this thing. I'm not sure if I'm looking at a ship or one of those... Sea funerals. You know, where you put the body on the barge and you uh, fire one arrow at the barge. See, at this point, I wonder, how are the lifeboats not burning? Your lifeboats would be probably burning a bit faster than the rest of the ship. I have done a whole 113 damage, but that's just with the shots, not so much with the fire. I don't think that, that gets counted. But I think the St. Louis is going to burn down. <laughs> Just like that. And uh, Virgen and Santiago took almost no damage in that encounter. So can I do this in reverse? Can I burn down two of these ironclads? Two of these turtle ships. Let's see. Mission complete. If I go for the USS Monitor, I'm going to go for speed as well. And we're going to sweep this design clear. I'm going to make it as small as possible. This one does need a forward tower and a secondary tower. The main guns can be as big as 305mm, but that is a 90 second reload. That is really, really long of a reload. 68 meter turning circle. Impressive. For a 52 meter ship. That's impressive. I currently will build two, but I think I might not be able to afford two. And she's a bit overweight. Um, 158 tons. That's not going to fit. The 
that to max. Let's see, can I fit? No, I can't fit it now. At least. Could I fit this? Nope. Aside from bulkheads, I don't think that there's anything that I can really save on. Short of armor, but that's... Well... That's the last thing I'm going to save on. What if I make this thing really big? 1600 tons. I'm using 1455. Set the funnels in the middle of the ship. Uh, torpedo launcher is not invented here. And... Reload. 83.3. Is there any way I can game the system and put these on the sides? No. Oh, shit. <laughs> She's already overweight. Um, I'm overweight by 36 tons. So, the average American. Uh, sorry about that. Couldn't resist. This has a fantastic firing arc. Could I go with the biggest gun? No. Nah, six tons. Six tons I can probably scrape off the armor somewhere. Secondaries don't exist. Conning tower. There we go. Four weight of set. 12%. Tw <laughs> what? Socket. We're going with 12.4%. So be it. Let's go. Alright, this time around I don't have a miniature turning circle. Oh, actually I do. 54 meters turning circle. We are 700 meters away from the monitor over here. Oh, sorry, the ironclad. We're the monitor. We are turning our 279 millimeter guns over to the starboard side. Bearing to open up. And we have completely missed the target. Identification should be up in a second or two. We're so close. And almost no chance to pen. High explosive. Minimum bulkheads. Fine. Your funeral. Or rather, your funeral pyre. Because I can probably do just the same thing here. Jeez, this takes forever. 83 seconds. This thing has 254 and 203 millimeter guns. Hit. Damage to the casemate, but no fires. What the hell was that salvo? There, there, and there. With 47% accuracy, right? Hold on. These guns... don't have a good firing arc. I need to position myself somewhere to the broad side of this thing. Also, could I ram it to death? I mean, it wouldn't be the first time. Ow. Wow, 10 damage. Tulsa's burning. Maximum bulkheads. No problem. Whereas if the Serio starts burning, she's going to have a massive issue. 27... I think this is the slowest ram that I will have ever executed at five knots. Sorry, I'm not even doing five knots. I'm doing 3.8 knots. 3.6. 3.7. The hell you are. Maintain course. Now, this is Alpha 7.5. That's an important distinction because the way that the ramming works here is bugged. The ramming model doesn't quite work as well as it should. Which means that lighter ships, ramming heavier ships, are usually going to come out pretty damn well. Because the lighter ship is usually the one that takes less damage than the heavier ship. Whereas, of course, arguably, normally, a heavy ship should just run over a light ship without taking much, if any, damage. Damaged my main gun, and I now have a funnel in front of said main gun. Speed 2.7. Here comes the ram at two knots. Tulsa's coming in. 
It's like watching two old people fuck. Jesus, speed up. 2.1. Own ship. 1.7. I think I'm losing a lot of... Well... I was going to say lose a lot of speed in the turn, but... There is really not that much B to lose. And I can't return fire. 1.2, 1.1. Rudder emit ships. Okay, left degrees to or left two degrees rudder. One point eight. Here it comes. One point zero. One seven. Why are we so slow? One six. What the hell? I haven't even taken any kind of funnel damage. This thing is still trying to whittle me down, but unsuccessfully so. to the funnel 1.4 knots you're doing one knot here it comes speed difference 0.3 knots 0 0.9 1 1.3 oh, yep there we go look at that versus that oh. <laughs> is nuts. It's taking these guys quite a while to die. Also, again, I'm, I'm 1,600 tons with the Tulsa. I'm ramming something that's 4,900 tons, but the Serio is coming out worse. Boys and girls, is how you do almost no damage with the main guns, but just ram a ship to death. <sighs> right. <clears throat> okay, this was just a little fun video that I wanted to do. Um, playing around with these iron clads and the monitors is fun. You can find those in the scenarios in the Naval Academy. First turrets and first casemates. Uh, and it's just something fresh and different relative to the, let's say, almost standard 1940 scenarios that I'm getting. If you do have a scenario, then you can send that in. Link is down below in the description. And if you're thinking, what the hell is this game? Read the title and click on the link down below in the description that says click here to get the game or wait a few days. And it is probably going to come to Steam quite soon, although I don't exactly know when. Anyway, that's all for now. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys soon for another video.